gee, you know, that kidney you gave me and the liver transplant and the $100,000 that you let me borrow and when I was almost homeless, you saved me and uh, risking your life, jumping in front of an on, uh, oncoming semi-truck uh, and you, you pushed me aside, and then you got run over, but you mirac- miraculously survived. Gee, all of those good things you did for me. Gee, all of those, I, I was actually like hanging at the, on the edge of a cliff, like, holding on, and you pulled me up. We were in the desert, and um, there was like no water, and you let me have your canteen full of water, and it saved my life, or you were dehydrated and had to spend five months recuperating. Gee, thanks so much for all of that. But I have to tell you something. You know, you said something offensive. You said something offensive. And and my friends at uh, the dinner parties in Hollywood uh, and on Twitter and on Instagram and on social media and the Alec Baldwin uh, firearm safety fan club that he's starting and all of these, all of these groups and people, the morally superior... They're going to get very upset with me if I continue our friendship. So you have two choices. Either you can disown um, Trump, Trumpism, um, everything that I disagree with that I find morally superior that would allow that would, would prevent me from being your friend because of the thoughts and the and the um, uh, discontent and the embarrassment others uh, would have or or the uh, peer pressure that others would would place upon me to uh, disown you. Uh, either you can disavow, 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 because I've been perfect in my whole life, and you disavow. Like um, you just go ahead and you you have to you know give penance and and maybe you know slap yourself with with. Um, some coarse object or whatever, uh, you have to, you have to really, you have to really uh, try to show that you're a good human being by disavowing things that you believe in and believe exactly what I believe in. And if you don't, I can't be your friend anymore, okay? And, and, and I don't want to lose my friends and be ostracized by other morally superior liberal Democrats so even though you've done so much for me, hasta la vista, I have to go, sorry, 30 years, my, you know what, that's too bad. Uh, because, you know, when we had record low unemployment with President Trump, um, uh, first president to step foot in North Korea, President Trump allocating, allocating more funding to historically black colleges and universities than any president ever. Trump opposing the Lincoln Project people, who, by the way, themselves, along with Bill Kristol, opposed marriage equality. Um, and, of course, Bette Midler retweets them, and, you know, and she, and she has wonderful viewpoints of the entire state of West Virginia. That's not bigoted at all. But... Um, if you, you know, Trump, really horrible person, his tweets were very mean, uh, but Biden u- utilizing the T-ban to um, protect the only airport he left, causing 13 Americans to lose their lives and 169 Afghans to lose their lives. Oh, that's, you know, you could disregard that, okay, because it's Biden, it's not Trump. And oh, all the things that I said about Trump and, and immigration at the, and, and, and the border and all of that, well, you know what, it's worse now under Biden, but it's okay because uh, Vice President Kamala Harris, she's taking care of it. And uh, let's see, wealth inequality is worse. Uh, climate change, well, let's see, uh, fossil fuels are at all-time highs in prices, coal, natural natural gas, oil. But you know what? You know what? Things are objectively worse under Biden. You would have to be a complete imbecile to think they're better, but they're objectively worse. But still, Trump's mean tweets. So you, you're a Trump supporter. I can't be your friend anymore. Or, or you said something offensive. So in this new morality where we've replaced God with CNN and MSNBC and Patton Oswald, who apparently some people say, oh, Parks and Recreation, look, I, what's okay, okay, that's it, big deal. Dave Chappelle is a legend, okay? Chris Rock, legend. Cat Williams, legend. Richard Pryor, legend. Icon, deity, 
Eddie Murphy, Robin Williams, Sam Kinison. Um, these are legends, icons. George Carlin, Rob, you know, we can go on. These are legends, icons. These are comedy, like, when you... Don Rickles, Mel Brooks would be canceled today. Don Rickles would be would, would wouldn't be allowed to perform today. You have what am I doing? What am I talking about? Patton Oswalt took a picture with Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle was gracious, was a, like a mensch, a beautiful human being. Did a mitzvah, did the best thing possible. If you're a comedian, apparently, like okay, if you're a comedian. And Dave Chappelle has the beauty of, of taking a moment out of his time to actually take a photo with you. You say thank you. You don't disrespect him. You don't insult him by making writing this stupid apology. Oh, I just want to let you know I disagree 100% with a lot of the bad things that Dave Chappelle said. And I wouldn't want to be lumped together with all the horrible things that he alluded to that he actually didn't allude to but all the ma bad things that he said because my friends and my, my everyone the cult that is Hollywood they'll disown me and I won't make any money because it's all about money honey so can you better believe that a person like Patton Oswald would write the opposite letter if the opposite Zeitgeist or, or paradigm existed in Hollywood. Show a spine. Your friend is your friend. You show loyalty to your friend. You show loyalty. You don't disrespect the person who is gracious enough. You think Dave Chappelle has to go ahead and take a picture with Patton Oswald? It's Patton Oswald who benefits, not Dave Chappelle. And you're talking about a legend, a comedy icon. And so Patton Oswald then pens this. Um, again, like I don't, I never really knew who he was until the past couple of years, and only because of his anti-Trump stance. Like all of these morally superior Hollywood celebrities who think that we care. Like seventy-three million Americans couldn't give a you know what about you, Hollywood celebrity. Half the electorate does not care what you are, who you are, what you think. Your Juicy Smollier and Alec Baldwin and Michael Avenatti to all of 73 million supporters of President Trump. And I used to be the biggest Bernie Sanders booster on the internet, according to the Huffington Post, and the unofficial scribe of Sanders' most hardcore voters, according to the Washington Post. You could read my writing in the Jerusalem Post, the Federalist, the Hill, Salon, the Huffington Post, other publications, Roanoke Times, on hagoodman.com. You could see my debates there as well. Look, this is a warped, pathetic, sad society. Friendship means nothing anymore. He's my friend, and I just want to let everybody know, though, that I apologize for taking a picture with him, because other people might, might find it, might find it offensive. You could take you being offended at Don Rickles or Mel Brooks or Dave Chappelle or any of the of the legends and shove it up your you know where Christopher Hitchens is needed in this world my god he passed away too soon you know what he would he would be viewed as the most horrible person in this day and age you shouldn't care what people think of you if you're not doing anything wrong a joke, telling a joke, there's nothing wrong with that if it's not rooted in malice, okay? And nothing that Dave Chappelle or any of these icons, if you're a, a comedy legend, if, if your jokes aren't rooted in malice or if you're not mean-spirited, then they're funny. People laugh. People laugh at bigotry. They laugh at the irrational, illogical elements of negative emotions that's what makes them funny because they're so illogical and irrational or you know what you're allowed to have a different viewpoint if Dave Chappelle is furthering a different viewpoint from your own then utilize reason and logic if you want to like you don't go ahead and say I'm going to take a picture and then apologize for the picture. That's not logical. It's not reasonable. It shows that you lack a spine. 
And it's not just this. It's not just Patton Oswald. What happened to friendship and loyalty? How many, if, you want, if you're watching this channel, you support President Trump or you vote Green Party or whatever, you didn't vote. How many friends did you lose from these people who are stuck in some kind of cult? Morality is looking at things from a logical, reasonable viewpoint and doing what's good. There's nothing inherently good about voting for Biden, who has a long track record of the most immoral, insidious things from pushing for the NATO intervention in Libya that calls or being part of the, the presidency, President Obama's presidency that ended or that destroyed a country in Libya with a failed NATO intervention to writing the crime bill, part of the crime bill that caused all the systemic injustices that the people on the left are talking about now. Want to, they, they're basically protesting about what Biden actually wrote in the crime bill and then... And then the morally superior liberals don't see the irony or the hypocrisy. The, every argument with a morally superior liberal should always be about whataboutism. Because that's what they say. It's, you, oh, you're, you're going to bring up, um, you're going to bring up all the times that he uh, acted inappropriate with women, Biden? You're going to bring up that? That's whataboutism. No, it's not. It's called hypocrisy, you hypocrite. All of your cherished ideals, whether it's firearm safety with Alec Baldwin or, or how to treat others with Biden or systemic injustices with Biden or every other problem we have from wealth inequality to climate change that's worse under mashed potato brains, you are a hypocrite. Not what about is I'm not changing the topic. You're a hypocrite. You think you're morally superior, but does anyone on the planet think that Patton Oswalt didn't write his apology simply because he was embracing the rear end of people who could end his source of income? It's all about peer pressure that's linked to money. That's all that this is about. It's all that this is. Hollywood is a gigantic cult run by money and power. It's not about value system. If it was about value system, you would have a debate, a free-flowing discourse, ideas, discussion. You wouldn't uh, try to uh, disown friends or apologize for photos with friends. These people are about, you know, the most trivial things, not about lofty ideals. They're petrified. They're petrified of a cult that could crush them and basically a it's it's Hollywood is is a gigantic cult. Not about value system because they're continually hip hypocritical. Things are worse now. Every every single problem under Trump is worse under Biden. Every single one, <laughs> inflate from inflation to uh, immigration to everything. To you know what? Yet they're apologizing for taking a photo. Anyway, give me your thoughts below. The fact that Dave Chappelle should, the fact that Dave Chappelle took a photo with this man should be a source of pride for Patton Oswald. He should thank his lucky stars. He should have thanked God that Dave Chappelle took a moment to take a photo with a friend. But friendship means nothing to the morally superior Hollywood liberals. It means less than nothing. It, it, it's all about acceptance, image, and please, please, please don't be upset with me because I don't want to be ostracized. So I'll just throw away any semblance of loyalty or decency and succumb to whatever angry internet Twitter mob goes my way. What happened to people actually having a spine? Some, some, have a spine, my God. Give me your thoughts below. Hit subscribe to this channel. Subscribe to the Stock Market Crash channel right now. Thank you so very much. If you want to support my work, my Patreon is below. Thank